Hello and welcome to Martin Maths. We're continuing the Higher 2023 Paper 1, and this is the second part of the videos. So this is question 14 onwards. Do look out for question 1 to 13 in the previous video. Here we have to work out 27 to the 2 thirds plus a half to the negative 3. So it's your index laws we're using here. Fractional often involve the roots. In this case, it'll be the cube root of 27 which will square, and negative powers is reciprocal, so I can invert that to be 2. The cube root of 27 is 3, and 2 cubed is 8, so I have 9 plus 8, and that is 17. So that's a nice 3-mark question there. Okay, question 15, an object falls from rest. Here's the distance time graph, and we have to work out an estimate for the gradient at of the graph at t equal to 3, and that's t equal to 3 there. You must show how you get your answer. What you must show uh, is a tangent. You must draw a tangent there. Preferably use a, a pencil. I'm using a my pen there. Um, and at that point, I'm then going to say, well, there's a change of 4 to 2 in the x direction and nearly 50 in the y direction. So 50 over 4 minus 2 is 50 over 2 is 25. Okay, that's also a three-mark question there. Do make sure that you have drawn your tangent, preferably with a ruler and a pencil. Right, let's move on. So that was question 14. Let's move on to question 16 then. Uh, question 16 says... In the start of a year, the population of a species is p to the n. Start of the following year, the population of species is given by p to the n plus 1 equal to k p to the n. Population of the start of the year 1 is 8. In year 2, it's 6. So if I put 8 there and in year 2, it's 6, we can then solve for k. k is going to be 6 over 8, which is 3 quarters, or in decimals, 0 0.75. Now, to work out the population at the start of year 3, we're going to say, well, year 3 will equal 0 0.75 times 6, or 3 quarters of 6. That's a terrible 3. 3 quarters times 6, uh, which is, cancel 2's there, 9 over 2, which is 4.5. At the start of year 5, the value of k is increased by 0 0.3. The value of k was 0 0.75. It's now increased by 0 0.3. So Louis thinks that from the start of year 5, the population would increase Louise. Is Louise correct? Well, 0 0.75 plus 0 0.3 is 1.05. And as long as 1.05 is greater than 1, then yes, it will increase. Okay, that's question 16. Question 17, we have to factorize 6x squared minus 5x minus 4. You want two brackets here. I used to use school techniques, first, last, and middle. Um, so take those factors like that. Those factors could be uh, 1 and 4. You could mix them around. Now I want to get the signs right. I want to end up with minus 5x. So I have 8 minus 3. I will get it. So 2x minus 1, 3x plus 4. And that'll give me uh, the correct answer there. If I just check that around. Oh, no, sorry, that weren't. I need to get the signs the other way around. That'll be 8x minus 3. I want it the other way. I don't minus. Do check your answers as long as you can. I want it to be plus 1 and minus 4 because that would have given me minus 8x plus 3, remember. So always multiply to check, 6x squared minus 8x plus 3x. So I'll write that again, 2x plus 1. Now, to help us with the next question, I'm actually going to find out where those would cut the x-axis. That would be at minus a half, and that'll be at 4 over 3. If I draw that graphically, it means I've got a positive quadratic graph cutting the x-axis at minus a half and 4 over 3. Now, they want to say, hence or otherwise, 
they usually mean use the fact you've just factorized it to find out when that would be less than zero. 2x plus 1, 3x minus 4. Well, if those are the points there where it cuts the x-axis, where would it be less than zero? Well, when x is between minus a half and 4 over 3. Okay, that'll get us those two marks there. Let's move on to question 18, which is on probability. Spinner A and spinner B are each spun once. Probability that spinner A lands on red um, is a quarter. The probability that both A and B are red is 1 24th. Work out the probability that one spinner, either of them, lands on red and the other spinner does not. I like a tree diagram for this. So I'm going to put A there and B there. Probability that it's red is a quarter there. Probability that both are red is 1 24th, meaning blue on its own must be 1 6th. That it's not red must be 5 sixths. We'll keep those red and not red, a sixth and five sixths. And that's not red is three quarters. Now they've said to us they want one on red and the other not. So I can either have A red and blue not red, which would be a quarter times five sixths. Or I could have not red on A, but red on blue, which will be three quarters times one sixth. That gives me five over 24. That gives me three over 24. Either of those is now acceptable. Okay, so now I want to do 5 over 24 plus 3 over 24, which is 8 over 24, which is 1 third. So 1 third is my final answer there. A nice four mark question there. Let's move on to question 19. Here is the graph of y equal to sine x between minus 180 and positive 180. Use the graph to find estimates for the solutions of sine x equal to 0 0.3. There's 0 0.5, so there's 0 0.3. Looking at those values there. Um, that's 90, so that's 60, so that's 30. And it's going down, um, let's say, in sixes, in 30. So I'd say that's about uh, 18 and about 160 or thereabouts. Okay, and then here write down a value such that sine x plus 20 equals zero. So it's a transformation, a shift. Remember, although it's plus 20, it's actually to the left. So we want that shifted uh, by 20. So for that case, it'll be, it was zero at zero. So it'll be minus 20 and it was zero at 180. So it'll be 160 those two shifted by 20. Okay, question 20 now. We're nearly at the end of the paper. We have a triangle, A, B, C, 10 there, 5 there, and 5 root 7 centimeters there. Must find the size of A, B, C. We don't know whether it's right angled or not, so we're going to use the cosine rule. So we know that A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cos A. I actually need to use B in this case. It'll be 5 root 7 squared equal to 10 squared plus 5 squared minus 2 times 10 times 5 cos of B. That's going to be 25 times 7. That's going to be 100 plus 25 minus 100 cos B. I'll bring that to this side. 100 cos B will equal 125 minus 175. So cos B equals, <clears throat> that'll be minus 50, which is minus a half. So we need to do shift cos of minus a half, which will be 120 degrees. They've got that there. Okay, four marks there for understanding cosine. Question 21, then, is a circle, x squared plus y squared equal to 169. So r is going to be 13. And they ask us to find the estimates of the simultaneous 
equation y squared plus x squared equal to 169 and 2y equal to 3x. So draw yourselves a nice circle. Get a compass, cut at 13. Sorry, mine actually isn't very good here. So draw a nice circle there. And on the other side, make sure your compass stays steady. Mine isn't. So maybe you can do a, a better drawing than mine. Okay, you could cut 13 there. And you should get, I'll draw it freehand then, a circle cutting all the way around of 13. And then uh, we're going to draw a straight line of y equal to 3 over 2x. Now, that means whenever x is 2, y is 3. So on a straight line going through there, and we have to estimate roughly, yours would be better than mine, round about there. And we're going to have about 7 to about 10.2. Okay, so x is about 7 and 10, but obviously you also have the negative answers there as well. Right, uh, last question in this paper is question 22. It's on thirds. Second term of a geometric sequence is 3 plus 2 root 2. Third term is 13 plus 9 root 2. We're going to work out the common ratio. Now remember the common ratio is one term divided by the other. So 13 plus 9 root 2 over 3 plus 2 root 2. We've got to rationalize that to get into the form a plus root b. I'm going to multiply by the conjugate, 3 minus 2 root 2, 3 minus 2 root 2. So it's the same term there, but I've swapped the signs. Let's figure out the denominator. 9, the middle terms will cancel. Minus 6 root 2 plus 6 root 2 minus, now we're going to have 2 root 2 times 2 root 2. And on top we'll have... 39 minus 26 root 2 plus 27 root 2 minus 18 root 2 root 2 or root 2 squared. Let's clean that up a little bit. In the denominator, those terms are going to fall away. I'm going to have 9 minus root 2 times root 2 will be 2. So I'll end up having 2 cubed, which is 8. In the numerator, I'm going to have 39 Minus, two, minus 26 root 2 plus 27 root 2 is just uh, 1 root 2. Okay. And then um, minus 18 times 2. Now 18 times 2 uh, is 36. So it's 39 minus 36 plus root 2 all over 1. So that simplifies to 3 plus root 2. And that's a really nice four mark question on thirds. There we go. That's the end of that paper. Uh, please pause at any moment if you need to check something. Look at the other videos on the channel for particular topics. But that's all of the November 2023 paper. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share.